Hi there. The award-winning SolarMD energy storage solutions have been widely used in energy storage applications across the globe. The flexible modular design enables it to be set up with an unlimited number of batteries on the wall. Let's take a brief look at some of the advanced features of the SolarMD wall-mounted range of batteries. The SolarMD wall mount batteries are interchangeable. You can parallel the units with a simple parallel connection on the integrated buzz bars. The multi-function button on the front of the unit offers advanced functionality. The multi-function button also displays the battery state of charge. Orange indicates a battery capacity between 0 to 30%. Yellow indicates a battery capacity of 30 to 60% and green indicates a battery capacity of 60 to 100%. The button also indicates the current flow direction. If the LED is fading into the unit, it indicates charging, and if it is fading out of the unit, it indicates discharging. If the battery is in warning mode, the multifunction LED will flash orange every second and take priority over the capacity and current flow direction. If the battery is in error mode, the button LED will flash red every second and take priority over the capacity and warnings. The multifunction button can also execute a predefined list of functions. The menu has six functions and the button colors changes according to the specific function. You can learn more about the additional features in the battery manual. Once you open the unit, you will see the integrated buzz bars for ease of use when paralleling the units. The SolarMD wall mount units can be set up with virtually an unlimited amount of batteries on the wall. We then have the protection relay that is there to fully isolate the battery from any connected devices in the event of error or by the user's request. The fuse holders house 100 amp fuses for overcurrent protection. We then have the advanced SolarMD EX battery management system. BMS EX is equipped with precision measurement and synchronous communication to enable accurate state of charge and state of health estimation. Highly accurate individual cell voltages and a fast sampling time for the entire battery pack allows more efficient operation of the battery modules. BMS EX is equipped with smart diagnostic systems. These systems monitor fault events such as under voltage, over voltage and over temperature. The system is also capable of pack temperature and cell temperature sensing. The fault flagging system helps protect the battery modules and alert the user of any potential problems. BMS EX is equipped with sensors that can detect if the battery's fuses have blown and need replacement. This device is also used in the event of battery low voltage error where the BMS opens the protection relay to protect the cells from reaching critical low voltage. This sensor will automatically and periodically sense if there is a voltage on the load side of the protection relay. If the voltage is higher than the battery pack voltage, the relay will close to allow the battery to start charging from the connected source. BMS EX is fitted with a 150 amp calibrated shunt. The shunt offers very accurate current measuring with a resolution of 10 milliamps measuring every 143 milliseconds. The measurements are tracked over time by the BMS and we are able to accurately determine the battery state of charge. BMS EX is the only management system in the market that can be remotely updated through the revolutionary Logger V2. The BMS is equipped with three communication interfaces hosted over five connection ports. The communication ports are split into two domains. Each domain is marked on the board with a white contour line and carries an isolation rating of 1500 volts DC. Isolated domain 1 has a screw connector, one RJ45 connector and a second RJ45 connector for the CAN bus 1 interface. The second isolated domain has two RJ45 ports and one RJ45 connector and both are denoted to the CAN bus 2 and RS485 interfaces. The pin out for the two CAN bus ports on the RJ45 connection are as follows. Pin 2 is ground, pin 4 is high, pin 5 is low. This corresponds to the Logger V2, making paralleling of the unit straightforward with a standard patch cable. On these units we can see that the first CAN bus 1 RJ45 connector on the SS4037 connects to the Logger V2. 
The CAN bus 1 connection is then daisy chained to the second battery. It goes from the CAN bus 2 port on the SS4037 to the CAN bus 1 port on the SS4074. For stable communication, a 120 ohm termination selector switch is mounted on the board of each interface. The BMS EX is equipped with an onboard diagnostic system. The system will trigger warnings and error when one or more battery parameters near or exceeds the operational limits of the cells, cables or the BMS itself. Warnings and errors are displayed in two ways. Three events. The BMS generates and stores events when settings are changed or when warnings or errors are triggered. These events are stored in the BMS and sent to the connected data logger. For each event generated, a freeze frame is stored, showing the exact battery conditions such as serial number, date and time, voltage, current, capacity and temperature at the time of the event. Indication LEDs. The BMS also uses indication LEDs on the board as well as the LEDs on the multifunction push button to display warnings and errors. You can refer to the manual for a complete list of warnings and errors to diagnose any problems locally. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video.